and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10, I'm Rebecca Felgate and today we're discussing the top 10 misleading TV commercials. Spoiler alert guys, you can't always trust what you see on TV. Coming in at number 10 we have Nivea's My Silhouette. I love it when you can get thin by applying moisturiser. Oh, wait, what? I can't? I'm pissed now. Nivea had a moisturiser called My Silhouette that claimed to have bio slim complex. They said that regular use significantly reduces body size. They also claimed that their product was body confidence in a tube. Body confidence in a tube. The commercial shows a woman using the moisturiser, then realising she can fit into an old pair of jeans. Her boyfriend then admires her slim body from afar. Nivea were fined $900,000 by the Federal Trade Commission. Coming in at number 9, we have Duracell adverts. Not only did Duracell make it look like you would have all of the fun and all of the lols with a fluffy pink toy bunny, but they also said that using a Duracell battery in said bunny would make it last much longer than had you used a different brand's battery. In 2012, Duracell was served up with a federal class action lawsuit for saying its ultra advanced batteries gave up to 30% more power in toys. But Duracell batteries keep going. In fact, depending on the toy, Duracell can last two, three, up to six times longer. Turns out the batteries were more expensive but didn't actually last any longer than regular alkaline batteries. Coming in at number 8, we have vitamin water. Remember that scene in Men in Black where the guy demands sugar and water and he's like, more sugar! More. <clears throat> Creepy, but I'm guessing that was probably the early test development for vitamin water. Owned by Coca Cola, vitamin water is marketed as a healthy drink, but it contains 32 grams of sugar. A lot of vitamin water commercials are misleading, including one with sports stars Kobe Bryant and LeBron James. But the boy gets his vitamins. Boy, definitely gets his vitamins. <laughs> Another also compares the crazy things that people do to stay healthy, suggesting it would be easier to just drink a vitamin water. Again, that much sugar is the absolute opposite of healthy. This is why Coca Cola was hit with a class action lawsuit that forced them to change their labels and marketing. Coca Cola sassily replied by saying, No reasonable person would be misled into thinking that vitamin water was a healthy beverage, but it turns out loads of people actually were. So we've heard about sugar water that will make you healthy and a moisture cream that will help you fit into your old jeans. But did you know that Skechers was sued over commercials starring Kim Kardashian that suggested that shoes would make you fit? We have all of the details coming in at number 7. The lolathon of a commercial starring the most famous Kardashian sister sees Kim in workout gear exchanging a steamy session with a hot topless guy. She exchanges him in for a workout in her Skechers. I am working out. It's not someone else. It's something else. Bye bye trainer. Hello, shape ups. The ad claims that just by wearing the shoes, the wearer is automatically working out. The Skechers shape ups were branded as false advertisement, and Skechers had to pay 40 million in a class action lawsuit. Coming in at number six, we have Eclipse Gum. In 2008, Eclipse Gum released a series of commercials in which it claimed not only to help your breath, but also to kill germs and bacteria. They said that most other gums just mask that breath, and now great tasting Eclipse has a natural ingredient that. That kills the germs that cause it. Most other gums just mask bad breath. Now, great tasting Eclipse has a natural ingredient that kills the germs that cause it. Of course, that was wholly untrue, and in 2010, Wrigley's, the gum owner, were ordered to pay $6 million. This included $10 to each customer who had used the product. Coming in at number 5, we have the Nokia Lumia 920 camera. Embarrassed Nokia were forced to issue an apology when the fact that they faked their commercial for the Lumia 920 camera with stabilizing technology came out and everyone saw. Totally fake. In the ad, the shots supposedly taken on the camera look really awesome. However, because of some pesky shadows and reflections giving the game away, people soon realised that the camera footage was actually not shot on the smartphone, but instead on a DSLR. were totally devastated when they found out that low budget body spray couldn't actually get them a girlfriend. Coming in at number 4, we have the mythical Lynx effect. No, 
No! Girls running in bikinis through the wilderness, swimming saucily through the oceans, creating a hot girl stampede, all cause some guy just popped on a little bit of his links. I mean, lol. The tagline, spray more, get more, was extremely misleading. You'd think that no man would ever be dumb enough to buy into this, but in 2009, a down on his luck Romeo tried to sue Lynx after he failed to get a girl in seven years. Mate. Mate. I am thinking that the type of dude who thought a bit of Lynx Africa would get him laid also thought that Red Bull would indeed give him wings. This is another misleading commercial coming in at number three. I used to love the Red Bull adverts. Some fool called Begging Carrerathus sued the company after drinking Red Bull for 10 years and he didn't get wings. He was annoyed about this. Hmm. The company settled the class action lawsuit by paying out $13 million. This included $10 to every US consumer who had ever bought the drink since 2002. Red Bull gives you wings. Well, don't expect Red Bull to grow wings on your back and actually make you fly. It helps to temporarily restore mental alertness or wakefulness when experiencing fatigue or drowsiness. Just so you know. So, Red Bull doesn't give you wings? Next, you guys are gonna be telling me that I can't captain a yacht or run down a mountain or lace carefree in a pool while I'm on my period. Wait. What? I can't? Coming into number two, we pretty much have all sanitary product commercials. Tampax, Body Form, and loads of other companies advertising tampons and sanitary towels make it look like women are having the best time during their period. In reality, most of us have pulled our hair up into messy buns and are trying to deal with the mind numbing pain by stuffing our faces with chocolate. And we're crying over the bit that Mark Darcy says he likes Bridget just the way she is in Bridget Jones's diary because. Mark! Why does it take us so long to see it? Finally, at number one, I have no idea if this aired on an actual television, but this was a popular social media ad that went hella wrong to serious chaotic effect. We have the misleading ad to end all misleading ads. We have the fire festival marketing. So the commercial showed supermodels in bikinis on a yacht, people getting private jets to a beautiful island and enjoying luxury beach parties. What actually happened was total chaos and was often described as the rich kids of Instagram meets the hungry. Games. No luxury, just emergency disaster relief tents. No gigs, just abandoned stages not yet fully built. And no luxury catering, just plastic cheese on a slice of bread. Pixie travel vlogger dreams decaying into a catastrophic reality. So that was the top 10 misleading TV commercials. What did you guys think to this list? Did I leave anything out? Let our honey know in the comments section down below. For now, I'm Rebecca Felgate. This has been Most Amazing Top 10. If you like this video, make sure you give it a good thumbs up, share it with a friend, and say subscribe for more core lists coming at you soon, really soon.